Let's take a look at the new UV5R Mini from Baofeng. This is their latest radio, and they're calling it the Mini, and I don't really know why. When we hold it next to an existing UV5R, it looks like it is about the same size. It is actually almost the same width, and of course, just about the same height. The key difference here, though, is when we take off this battery, this radio is actually pretty thin. Now, again, this radio is so new. There we go. Now, I don't want to talk about this radio based off of transmit. We're going to talk about this just based off of using it as a scanner because that's what we concentrate here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Panel mode. Sounds about the same. We have a really nice color display on this radio. And again, functionality is pretty much the same as what we're used to here. One of the biggest differences that we have here on this radio over the original Baofeng UV5R is 999 memory positions, which makes it much better for a scanner. Programming will be done through the standard Kenwood port on the side or through smartphone software. I'm going to stick with using this cable here and Chirp, something I'm very familiar with. Charging the battery is done now through a USB-C port, which is very convenient. The menu system, however, is definitely different. Wireless CPS and, of course, frequency ranger and the scan list, that's a little bit different. So the menus are slightly different, but they're also pretty familiar with what we're used to. You do get dual receive on the front. You get a really bright strobe LED if you ever used it. And the one thing you do need to watch out for are these A and B buttons on the side. The top button, the A, will transmit on the A band, and the B button will transmit on the B band. Whereas on the UV5R, the transmit transmitted on whatever band was active in the display. You also have a built-in FM radio. And this radio is also said to do AM reception, although not so well. I think the UV5R Mini is really a nice upgrade on the UV5R. And I think when it comes to using it as a scanner radio, having almost a thousand memory channels in here is definitely a strong selling point. Because again, this radio here only had 128 memory locations, and that was that way forever in the Baofeng lineup. So what questions do you have about this radio that I can answer for you when it comes to using it as a scanner? Are you looking at buying one, or do you already have one? And if so, what do you think about this radio? Leave me a comment and let me know. Do you have one now? Are you thinking about buying one? And if you have one, how do you like it?